What is good? Diamond Dynasty, baby. Y'all already know what's going on in this video. I ain't said that in a long time. I feel like niggas just want to cut to the chase and get to the video. So that's exactly what we're going to do. My feelings about Loved by Erica being pregnant. How to make a seafood boil by the Cryer family, man. Let's get into the video. Like, comment, subscribe, all of that shit. Make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend today. Ain't your mama today. Uncle Joey's still a hoe. Let's get right into this video, man. Let's get it. Mr. Cryer, how do you feel about Loved by Erica being Pregnant. How do you, you know feel? A lot of people really want to know how I feel about it. Right. A lot of people have been sending me DMs saying, Mr. Cryer, how do you feel about Love by Erica? You know what I'm saying? Um, apologize and stuff about certain things that she has said about me, you know, like in the past and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to be talking a lot about some of those details in tomorrow's mukbang so you guys definitely do not want to miss that this nigga said mukbang tomorrow's mukbang let me motherfucking get to tomorrow's mukbang then. let's see what we got going on the facts that i talk a whole lot mm, me girl, too mr pryor you me too how much time last year that looks good though i don't even like seafood to be honest guys i really don't like seafood like that and if i do eat seafood it's fried seafood Seafood boils and all of this other shit. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's fine. Like, it's cool. It's not my favorite food, though. And I'm glad it's not my favorite food. Because, guys, I am fucking allergic. I've got to be allergic. Because every time I eat a seafood boil with crab legs, you know, whatever it is, mainly it's crab legs. I might get away with shrimp, okay? If I just get shrimp on the boil, uh, shrimp on the boil, if I just get shrimp in my boil, most of the time I'm good. But I start getting crab legs and shit, bro, my stomach, I'm talking about I would wake up in the middle of the night just hunched over, like, about to fucking die. Because my stomach hurts so fucking bad, man. I don't know, like, and I can't say that it's the butter because I don't use butter every single time. But every single time I eat crab legs, y'all, my stomach just hurts so bad and it's crazy because when I was a kid, my mom used to go to the market, to the Asian market, guys, and get, like, a whole bunch of crabs and put them in, like, a paper bag, paper sack. And they'd still be, you know what I'm saying, alive and shit. And she would go home, put them in a boil, you know what I'm saying? They would fucking, you know, boil up, die. Okay, I know that sounds tragic as hell, but that's how you fucking boil your crabs, especially when they're alive, okay? She was a thug. I guess that's how they do it, you know, in the Philippines, and a lot of people do it that way. But, guys, I used to eat crab i think it was the body to be honest i don't think it was the legs but the body of the crab y'all was good as hell and i don't remember my stomach hurting like that when i was a kid so maybe as i got older i got like some type of allergy to that but let me know in the comment section down below if you know of anything maybe that, that i could switch up or if i'm gonna just have to deal with this i'm probably gonna have to deal with it guys because it is what it is and i know most of you guys are gonna be like damn i love fucking crab legs let me know in the comment section down below if y'all love crab legs you know um like i said it's not my favorite but i would definitely love to enjoy them just because you know a lot of people do and a lot of my friends do and i would love to just you know what i'm saying like we all eat crab legs but no bitch i'm not gonna be up at two o'clock in the morning with my stomach fucking hurting and shit and feeling like death but anyway lobster tails in a pack for like I think it was 14 bucks and now this year those same lobster tails at Walmart are high as fuck inflation is real are down um $18 for two of the lobster tails inflation is real yeah. what I'm looking at they really haven't gotten any bigger here y'all better start, start investing as a matter of fact you said they have not got bigger guys it really seems like everything has excuse me I know that's kind of nasty I know that I've noticed that everything is getting smaller or staying the same size, but the price is going up. Let me know if y'all noticed that too. I remember as a kid getting like candy bars, like chocolate bars and shit like that. And guys, the king size was an actual king size. Now when you go and get a candy bar, the king size looks like the fucking bitch ass regular size. You know, uh, we're getting close to snack size here at any moment. So, yeah, inflation is real, guys. Make sure y'all invest, get some crypto, get some stocks that you believe in or whatever it is, guys. Because, look, that is really going to even out the inflation and shit. And especially in your pocketbook, with you spending more, you can also invest more and make more money as well. But anyway, not financial advice. I got to say that. Not but financial it's, advice. It's still worth getting them. Now, I'm going to go to H-E-B to get some of my seafood. Wait, but let's I'm get kind of like Mr. Cryer. All right, bro. Let, let's get down to it, man. video with my son and mom, Erica. Alright. Many of y'all know her as Love by Erica. 
He about to get down with the get down. I'm hungry too. I need to fix me something to eat when I get back upstairs. I'm a death runner. I hate gnats. I can honestly say this. I'm really, you know, I did go back and I watched a lot. And you know, I'm not gonna lie. I was because like a lot of people have this perception of me that I'm this woman abuser and mm -hmm. I go around. I wonder why. <laughs> fighting women and strong arming women. So when I went back and watched the live video that she had participated on another content creator's channel, it really made me happy to see that she had, you know, positive things to say. Express things about what had really happened. So that actually really made me feel good. Um, I had no freaking idea. That she was going to do anything like that. Because, man, Erica, we're cool. We are cool, you know. And we're trying to become better co-parenting. And not just better co-parenting. We're, you know, we have a better, a whole lot better communication with one another. Good. So, that's why I said I was even shocked that I didn't even know that she was going to even... I'm going to say this, man, you know. I've been in my share of relationships in my life, okay. And I'm going to just say... None of them, and I mean zero, zilch, like zero, okay? None of them were perfect, okay? Now, I'm not promoting toxicity. I'm not saying that you should stay in something toxic. I'm not trying to say that you should stay in an emotionally abusive relationship or whatever it is. And I'm not saying that that's what they went through, okay? We all saw everything unfold online and all of that. But all I'm saying is no, relation is per uh, no relationship is perfect, just like nobody is perfect, okay? And whether you like prior family, whether you like Erica, okay, you have to respect the fact that they are doing what they have to do to co-parent and get along for the most important person in this equation, which is the son, okay? They have a son together. They share a son together. So call them immature, call them fake, whatever you want to call them. But at the end of the day, they're doing what they need to do behind the scenes, okay? Fuck what happens on the internet. There's some truth to that, of course. But what happens behind the scenes is Damien is taking care of his kid. Erica is taking care of her kid. They are helping each other, co-parent, to take care of the kid. They have the same mission, the same goal. All right, so let's keep that in mind. I know there has been a lot of drama surrounding their name. But at the end of the day, guys, what matters is that child. And if they get along, that's fucking even better. How many people cannot even co-parent and this person is trying to, you know what I'm saying, use this baby as a pawn or that person is, you know what I'm saying? Like it can get very, very ugly and very, very dramatic. That's real drama, okay? That's real drama for your ass. So the fact that they're coming together for the same mission and the same goal to make sure that that child is loved and cared for by both parents, you can't do anything but respect that. Let me know how y'all feel in the comments. Say that. Um, but some people are asking, how do I feel about it? And I couldn't really say how I feel about it until I actually went back and watched it. I mean, I was actually surprised, surprised and shocked at the same time because I wasn't expecting it. You know, but to know that she actually, you know, came up and you know, said some things that were said that happened a while back, you know, actually didn't happen, you know. He is tearing <clears throat> that fucking horn up, nigga. God damn. Sheesh. <laughs> like me personally, I know out of anger. Sometimes I say stuff out of anger, yeah. you know, because I'd be so upset. Yeah. That's the worst thing, too. You got to learn how to control that because, boy, some shit you cannot take back, you know? Like, the way you made somebody feel, the, the, the words that you said to that person, you know? You don't know what you could be implanting in somebody's mind, you know? That might affect them for the rest of their life or for the next six months or it could cause a depression or whatever it is. So it's very, very important that we try to stay grounded, stay centered, and watch what the fuck we say, you know what I'm saying? But anyway. And then... I think about what I said after after everything cleared, you know, calms down. And then I regret things 
that I said. So You're I think human, it was one of those situations. You're I mean, human. you guys are trying to tell me. He was eating the fuck out of that corn. <laughs> He's making me want some. Out of anger, I posted something on my story the other night, which was screenshotted. What, what do you post, y'all? What do you post? He might tell us, I don't know. Well, they watch everything we do. We post a community post, anything on IG, they're screenshotting it. You know, screenshotting the hell out of it. Because <laughs> people know that I'm known for posting stuff on my community post wall. Post and delete. And then I, then I would delete it after I think about, you know. Very emotional. Because I could post something. Very emotional. Mo emotional decision. And it could be pointed directly towards a person. somebody that is not directed for will see it and believe that that comment or that post was made about them when it really wasn't. Sometimes I don't think before I react. So I posted on my community, on my community post. Was it on IG or my community post? I posted, I just found out today that I will not be allowed or won't be able to see my son for Christmas his first Christmas or for his first birthday. Mm. And I said that. I posted that. Mm. And a lot of people were thinking like, oh wow, you know, she's doing him dirty. But that wasn't the case. That's not why I posted it. Mm -hmm. You were just day, saying when right? everything happened. You were just saying. And I don't even want to speak on that because it's such a sore topic. When everything happened that day from a certain video that had me highly upset and highly irritated. You know, had me on my feelings like any dad or mom would be. I was so furious that day, I just felt like I didn't want to be bothered with nobody. I didn't want to be bothered with nobody. And so I posted that out of anger. You know, and I don't mind coming over here admitting when I make a mistake, you know, when I post something. Because people are going to judge you no matter what. Look, man, that's what it's about. Like, honestly, that's what it's about is taking accountability and taking ownership of your wrongdoings. You know, like you can't really evolve or grow if you don't hold yourself accountable. You know, it's easy to point the finger and blame other people, but sometimes it's best to take a step back, evaluate the situation and look at it from another perspective, a third person or you know, another perspective to see in what way did I affect this situation, you know? In what way? Because just because somebody else did something doesn't mean that they're 100% to blame. It doesn't mean that you don't have things that you need to work on or it doesn't mean that you are 100% in the clear. So instead of judging that other person, look in the mirror and say, what could I have done better? How could I have maneuvered or handled this situation better? You know, that's gonna make you a better you. I mean, I've had to do that, man. So I'm still going through that for that myself. I'm angry. And the reason why I'm telling you this, guys, is because I'm giving you guys a prime example of things that we do out of anger. You know, and I felt like. The things that she posted about me a while back, as far as, you know, me man not knowing her. Mm, putting her out. Away. Putting her son out. I'm going to say this. I still don't agree with a man putting their girlfriend and son out. Okay. If anything, put the girlfriend out and let the son stay. You know, you can come back at so-and-so time or you can sleep outside or whatever the case may be. But this is a child. The child did not do anything to be in this predicament or situation. Okay. So I'm going to allow the child to stay. All right. But you got to go or whatever it is. But I feel like that child, even if it's not your child, there's no way that I could put that child out like that. But like I said, everybody is different. Okay. Everybody's mind works different. Everybody has experienced different things. Everybody handles things different when they get upset, angry, and mad. So who am I to judge the next person on how they handled something? Okay. The most important thing is for that person to take accountability for their actions and try to be better from that, you know, situation. But like she said, what she said, I hate her. And a lot of times, 
Snapping the hell out of the damn line. I'm gonna say somebody who don't come oh, on my line and expect myself looks guilty. But the truth of the matter is, when you come on line and prove that you're not guilty, innocent. What's that famous word I always say, guys? It's never enough. Because people so who already have their assumption. They, they have their mind made up. Form. They have their mind made up. And they're going to be on that side or that side. You know? Most of the time. They're going to pick a side. Maybe before you can make a video. They've already got their opinion about you for So it doesn't matter what you say. So I will say this. I was very happy to see that video. The live where she, you know, had said some things in. You know, and... I have not yet talked to her since that live video was made or she joined the live video. Text her. I've texted her, but I have not spoken to her. So he got it. He got Text her in a DM. Oh, okay. I'm about to say he got her number now. spoken to her just yet. You know. Tomorrow I will be sent. Well, actually today, the day that you guys get this video, which will be Saturday, because Erica has family that lives out of town in the country, and so in all fairness, you know, Dion has a grandmother that lives here in Texas and a granddad as well, and. Uh, whole entire host of uncles and other relatives on his mom's side who wanted to also see him for his first Christmas. And I understand that. And so I decided to do his Christmas the day after. And as far as the birthday plans I'm moving forward, um, I'm really excited about his birthday coming up. You know, he's going to be one years old. And turning one is a one time thing. You only get that one time. Mm. If Cora was a woman, I'd probably play her. Mmm, shout out. You get away from me that quick. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> See, that's why it's too fucking messy, bro, for that little piece of meat. Big question. I'm good. A lot of people. <laughs> I'm good.
I'll call y'all separate ways. Shit happens. You guys are bound to meet new people in your life. You know, you're bound to run across somebody in your life that's 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 gonna be interested in you and they yeah. wanna, you know. I don't think so, but let's see. things 
So that makes you feel some type of way. Like I said, I don't know if Erica would admit it out of her own mouth. I don't know. I could be wrong. But I believe if I had someone pregnant, again, I could be wrong. I can't speak for her. That might have made her feel some type of way, you know. Because she could have been feeling the same way I, f I feel. You never know. People break up all the time. And I'm not talking about just on YouTube. People break up all the time in the regular real world. Now, how many times have you seen people break up and get back together? I actually know of two. Let me know how you guys think. Let me know how you guys think. Like I said, man, I wish both of them the best. I hope that they can grow, evolve together. If not, um, you know, it sounds like they're doing a great job co-parenting. So let me know how y'all feel in the comment section down below. I love you guys so fucking much. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell so be notified when I upload on my channel. DM me at the Diamond Life 888. Let me know what I should be reacting to next. And tell a friend to tell a friend today. Ain't your mama today, Uncle Joey still at home. We'll see you guys in the next motherfucking video. Yo, I love y'all, man. Peace. We out. Baby.